Okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. This is the house where I live. Yeah, this is it. I live here. Okay? And what I want to do is tell you uh, <clears throat> about what it's like sometimes to be home and not be where you think you want to be. It's amazing. What it boils down to is uh, sometimes you can get I won't call it bored because there's no such thing as boredom unless you're a boring person. And I won't blame it on being depressed because that's it's just a state of mind that you don't have to stay in. Like anger. It's a state of mind you can't afford to be in. But what is depression? Well, the doctor wouldn't tell me this, but I gather depression is just me not having what I want when I want it. And it can also be me having what I want and no longer wanting it. And just tired of having it. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to go to Europe or down to Bulgaria. And that's like a little, I don't know if I'm nervous or jittery, but uh, I should be excited. I'm going to promote my work and do some things. And it's amazing how maybe it's anxiety or, or just, you know, the anticipation of getting on this plane seven, eight hours, you know. <laughs> I'm not much of a plane guy, but uh, this is what it is. This is what it boils down to. And we go through what we go through when we go through it. And that's what it is, bottom line. No two ways about it. I, um, I guess we all get these mixed emotions along with these clockwise thoughts. Sadness in all terms and sorts. Uh, it's like I see, you see, and when I see what you see, the space between us it disappears. But there are moments when I do despair, for I do not know if you've done what I did in order to see what I've seen. Hey, let's take it from this point of view. I look to you to feel feedback. You look to me to receive give back. To me from you, from you to me. Cross currents, traces of your chemistry convert to make of me, the we. I look to feel feedback. I do a lot of spoken word and that's basically what I'm about. You know, I don't find myself doing too much in the corporate world. I'm just not a boss's type of man. And I'm like bosses. I like to work with people, not for people. I find it more self-respecting. My dignity and my virtue, all that stays intact. It's like when I'm working for somebody, ah, I don't know. People tend to bring their shit to you. They want to give you their shit. So now you got their shit and your shit. And um, when you have their shit and your shit and all the other shit, and that can be a lot of shit. No shit. It's beautiful out here. <clears throat> I will say that. And life is beautiful. And I will not allow myself to believe that I am depressed and in need of any mood stabilizing drugs or psychotropics. You know, cycle this, cycle that. I mean, we need to change the fucking cycle. That's what we really need to do. And you have what it takes built inside of you to do these things. You do not need a pill. It's just that sometimes we find it easier to just swallow a pill and expect life to change. No, I don't think so. Life changes through effort, through work. You have to put in the footwork. You have to plant the seed. The seed is the deed. No seed, no crop. And I always say, default is your fault. And if you're at fault, that's default. You know, volunteers only. Pay at the door and leave your life inside. What are you waiting for? The government to put a meter on your nose and make you pay for the air you breathe? Like I said, this ain't no free ride. It's volunteers only. Pay at the door and leave your life inside. 